What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Warrior 4. In this video we're going to be doing stage 38, the brake, pedal, switch and wires. So again we will need to go take our pieces that we built in the last issue. So we did have this one that we built on the last one. If you did miss that please go check it out. It'll be the previous video to this one. And we need to just put a few things on. So what we need to do is we will need to take out all these pieces. So I'm going to just open the packaging up uh, in real time because I'm going to take the cables out as or the wires out as we need them instead of just getting them all out and putting them on the side because we can just take them out as we want them and just need to get the EP screws which come with it and then the rest of it we could just leave in there like so. So we'll just take that out as we need it and we'll tell you what um, wires we're using and what color wires we're using as we go along. So just put that there, let's pop that down. So the first thing it wants us to do is take 38F and I'm guessing that these will say 38F on them or something like that. So that says B, uh, which is absolutely fine. We just need to check through the parts list what 38F is going to be. So 38F is going to be the brake pedal switch black. So that's just going to be the black one. So that's going to be this short cable here. So as you can see, it has that little mechanism it had on the uh, DeLorean where it went backwards and forwards when the, pre the pedal was pressed. So the first thing it wants us to do, it wants us to lay this out flat, which is actually not going to be too difficult because it's pretty flat already. And it has a bracket on there already as well. So we need to make sure that, that fits inside. It's asking for the triangular piece to be pushing away from it, which is not going to be too difficult. So the triangular piece will go in that little gap. And then this should just lay on top as well as it can on there. There's a little locating lug and then there's one that will have also like a screw on it too. So once you've held that into place, you just need to take one of your EP screws, which is just here, and then pop that in. Careful not to do it up too tight because the last thing you're going to want to do on this, guys, is um, overdo this when it really doesn't need it. And it is only plastic, so just try to remember that when you're doing this build that these pieces are only plastic. Right, let's try and get this lined up. I don't want to fast forward through if we don't have to. I want to just try and stick to do it in real time. It's just depending on how well it lets us put them in. So there we go, so that's in nice and lovely. Just making sure it's flush, which it is. So that just asks for that to lay down there. It's not asking us to secure that with anything. But as you can see here on this side, I'll try and use the tweezers to point if I can. There is two locating lugs. So there's one at the top, which will take the screw. That's the locating lug at the top there. And then there is one at the bottom, and that is just one where it just locates into the position. The triangular piece here just sits in the top of that bracket there. So when the pedal comes in, it will press on that, and then that will activate it to um, do the switch on and off when you do the brake pedal. And that just sits there like that. So that is G. So make sure you have G there, and that is that one. And that's where that needs to sit. So we'll just quickly put that down for one moment. The next thing it wants us to do is to take this bracket, which we had from the last issue, which is just there, which is 37B. And then we need to take the brake pedal, which is 37C, which is just here. And then what it is asking us to do here is asking for us to just slot that into position like that, to push that in there, like so. And then as you can see, when the brake pedal is pressed, it will press them to pieces together which is what activates it and then to hold that into place you want to take this little bracket here and that will just slide over the top when that's in position to make sure that's in there and that slides over the top like so and then you want to take your two EP screws again just do one at a time and just pop that in so like so and then do that up. Remember, do not do it up really tight. It is really unnecessary to do these up tight. You don't need to do that. And then we'll take the other EP screw here. And I'm just going to pop that in there like so. And then do that one up as well. You just need to make sure that it's all lined up in place. If it's not, then find out why and what's going on. There we go. And then do that up nicely. There we are. 
So then you should have it looking like that. So as you can see here, this is how it should look. So you've got the two screws, the two EP screws there, the bracket on top holding the pedal into place. The pedal should be floating underneath like that. And then when that pedal is pressed like this, then it will press on those two um, elements here which will push together to create the brake pedal it is a bit loose but I mean you know in real life it would be quite loose what you want to make sure is that they're not touching so you do need to make sure that they're separated if you need to then obviously bend it away a little bit uh, but you don't want them to constantly be touching only when the contact is made because if they are constantly touching then the brake lights will constantly be on and we don't want that so that's how that needs to look so obviously i would probably store it this way around so that you're not damaging anything um but again guys that's all we get to do in this issue until we get some more we won't be able to install these cables until um the next one so we will just double check that we haven't got to put them in so now we don't get to do any of this at the moment uh, which is a bit annoying because this is just stage 38 and that's all we got to do so uh, we will read for the magazine we've got the big boss um, we have a bit about the Marshmallow Man again, um, rebuilding a studio. So there's loads of information in here about how they did it. And, you know, there is a new Ghostbusters movie that's coming out soon, which is what this is um, all sort of like um, representing too. Uh, so that's really good. There's loads and loads of information in here. Just so much stuff. So what I'm going to do is just going to pop this out of the way for a second. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what's coming in the next issues. So if I just turn that around like so... We can have a quick look there. So it looks like we get to do, um, here it looks like we get to do the dashboard, some more of the dashboard, the top of the dashboard, um, some of the controls, um, some of the detailing on there. So that's gonna be really good. I can't wait to do that with you guys. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you can, please subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you guys when we get the next four issues. See you again real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.